Really unbelievable. All right, let's go now. Yeah, leave that for you. So this is what my Arcus is up to right now. And I know all of you have seen this. It's about a day and a half old. But I just had to make sure. I always want to make sure that you see it. DHS Secretary Mayorkas, again, people are missing. Towns are gone. I've told you this before. But I spent a couple of years looking for land or a house to buy all along eastern Tennessee. All, a lot of those towns that I looked at are gone. They're gone. But all while these towns are gone, people have lost, listen, people have lost their babies. People have lost their spouses. People have lost their kids and lost everything they've owned or and, and have not everything, just not, not just what they owned in the moment, but what they have spent a lifetime accumulating. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Alejandro Mayorkas, who's in charge of FEMA, just like he's in charge of the border, if there's, any, if, if there's anybody who's more responsible for this, for the current state of the United States of America, which is basically a FEMA zone, other than Joe Biden, it's Alejandro Marcus in charge of the border. And then, of course, Kamala Harris, who's supposedly in charge of Alejandro Marcus as the borders are. But Marcus is out shopping for high-end menswear while people are dying. Wouldn't you be there at a command center? Wouldn't you at least maybe fly down there and check into a hotel somewhere in Georgia and manage the FEMA response along with, what's her name again, Aaron? Je- Jeannie Griswold, something like that? Deanne, Deanne Griswold. Wouldn't Crystal, you be there with yeah. Deanne? Keep that in handy for me. Yep. Write it down over there so yep. you know it when I, when I yell to you, yep. when I ask for it. But anyway, I mean, wouldn't you, wouldn't you do that? Wouldn't you just check into a hotel? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you just set up a command center? And I mean, if, if you got a multi-billion dollar budget, which he does, says that it's broke now because they've all they've done is build illegal welcome illegal migration welcome centers in San Diego to the tune of $20 million. I think $20 million would go a long way in this rescue effort, wouldn't you? But that went to a welcome center for illegal border invaders in San Diego this year, 2024. But DHS Secretary Mayorkas shops for high-end menswear as mass power outages continue in North Carolina. Mayorkas impeached once for handling uh, handling of the border crisis is on a hot on the hot seat over Hurricane Helene response. Well, well how, there's this response. I mean, imagine the audacity of doing this. Now, while this is going on, the border czar Kamala Harris, she's on Howard Stern. She's on Aaron. Correct me if I'm see if you, you may not know any of these. Uh, she's on The View. Thank you. And then she was also on this, like, Call Me Daddy. Yes, Call Me Daddy. Call Me Daddy sex show. Yeah. She's on that. She goes to a show that talks about sex. I mean, all I do is talk about uh, sex all the time. Call Me Daddy. I mean, come on. That's the show. That, the future, alleged future president of the United States, the genius Kamala Harris, goes to Call, call, and call Me Daddy on that podcast <laughs> where she lies repetitively, repetitively about abortion. But then goes on Howard Stern, goes on The View. Why wouldn't you be doing what Donald Trump does? Donald Trump has now supplied Appalachia from with millions of dollars of his own money and has raised millions of dollars because FEMA is doing nothing. Imagine the audacity. Of, of, you know who you are. Alejandro Mayorkas is one of the most hated men in the world, and you know that you're going to be spotted, and you don't care. You're going to be out shopping for high-end menswear. The jackets in that store are $3,000. <laughs> and he's shopping there while... North Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina, numerous other areas, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia, vast swaths are gone. But you, you have so little concern about your own hierarchical hypocrisy that you're out there clothes shopping in a store where a jacket costs $3,000. See, that's what happens when you become a monarchy. When they just tell you, eat your cake. And that's, what, and that's why you end up seeing these revolutions over a period of time. Because people get sick of it. Where you are living high on the hog, all the money that we gave you was supposed to go to our rescue. And instead, where is it going? Into Alejandro Mayorkas' pocket so that he can go to a high-end menswear shop and buy, and buy $3,000 jackets.